Hi folks and welcome back to MAMP with Captain Rod. Um, what we're going to do here is, given this point on a unit circle, we're going to try to find the values for all of the trigonometric functions. So what you want to do is start by drawing a circle centered at the origin. I'm going to go ahead and put this point on the circle somewhere. So 1 half minus root 3 over 2. The, the drawing doesn't have to be perfect. This is some positive number. I guess on a unit circle that would be halfway. And then the y value is some negative number. So we're down here somewhere. The angle that corresponds to this, if I were to draw it, let's see, this is my terminal ray. It just keeps going. And the angle looks like this. Here's some angle theta that corresponds to that point on the unit circle. So again, the coordinates here are 1 half minus root 3 over 2. Now, in the problem, it was stated that this is a unit circle, which means the radius is equal to 1. We also would come to that conclusion if we apply Pythagorean theorem to this. This squared plus this squared is going to equal 1. And now we'll just go out, we'll just start writing on our trig functions. So sine theta is defined as y over r. y is minus root 3 over 2. The radius is 1, so we just end up with minus root 3 over 2. Cosine theta is defined as x over r. The x value is here, 1 half. The radius is 1, so that's just equal to 1 half. The tangent function is y over x. That's going to be this over this, minus root 3 over 2 over 1 half. These twos are going to cancel. Minus root 3, I believe, comes out of that. Now, these are what I call the three primary trig functions that you talk about, probably the most in trigonometry, but there are three other trig functions directly related to them, and they are the cotan function. Cotan theta is defined as x over y. So it's the reciprocal of the tangent function, minus 1 over root 3. You could rationalize that denominator if you so desire, but it's a perfectly acceptable answer as is. The secant function is defined as r over x. Right? It's related to the cosine function. It's actually the reciprocal of the cosine function. So that's going to be equal 1 over 1 half, which is 2. And last but not least, the cosecant function. Cosecant theta is defined as r over y. Right? It's the, it ends up being the reciprocal of the sine function. In this example, r is 1 and y is minus root, sorry about that, minus root 3 over 2. So cosecant theta is equal to, if we simplify that, minus 2 over root 3. You could rationalize that if you so desire, but I wouldn't bother. So in order to find the sines, cosines, and tangents, well, and the cosecant, cotangent, and secants, we need to know how they're defined. And again, sine is y over r, cosine x over r, tangent y over x, cotan x over y, secant r over y, cosecant r over oops, I'm sorry, secant is r over x, cosecant r over y, put in the values. So I hope this video helps demonstrate this. Have a great day.